many of you here, just a show of hands, would love to have more energy to do the things you really love to do and spend time with the people you care about? <laughs> show of hands. Anybody know? I kind of figured that probably everybody would, would love to have more energy. Now, if we had a genie that could descend upon Cheers right now with us and give us more of something other than energy, could people just shout out what they would want more of? I would want more money. <laughs> money. I was thinking possibly chocolate, red wine, there's a few other things, but, um, but time. Time is the one that I always focused on. If I could only have more time. If there was 26 hours in a day, I could do everything I wanted to do and still have time to, you know, do some things for myself, spend time with my family, do the things that I love to do. What I've really come to realize is we all have all the time there is. 24 hours in a day, 24 golden hours. And it doesn't matter if you're Oprah Winfrey or Nelson Mandela or Bono or Hillary Clinton, Time is sort of the ultimate equalizer for all of us, and we all have all the time there is. If you look at the average lifespan, we have about 960 months and something like 29,000 days, give or take. And I think we'd all love to spend our 29,000 days having more energy and more vitality. Certainly I would, anyway. So I've come to realize that I think energy is the really hot commodity and not necessarily time. So if we can focus on having more energy, we'll be enjoying our lives more and be more vital. So I think managing our energy will enable us to live a larger life, a bigger life, and have a greater impact on other people. I came across this concept of energy management honestly by screwing it all up. By not doing what I knew had worked in the past, by feeling just brutal and crappy. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about my story and how I came upon this system of energy management I'll share with you this morning. Um, so fast forward 35 years, and I thought I had it all figured out. And then I peed on a stick that turned blue, and my whole world changed. <laughs> I had always really, really wanted to be a mom, but I thought I would just do it later. I thought, you know, I'm in school, I'm doing these other things, I'm focused on career, I'm just going to do it later. Well, later became later, and later became later, and later became much later, and it just wasn't happening. But finally, miracle of all miracles, I probably caught my last egg, but I did get pregnant. The ongoing joke is I'll be 90 by the time Nicholas is out of high school, but that's okay. We feel very, very fortunate to have him. It was about three or four months before I went back to work. And I realized that I needed to start doing the things that I was doing before that had worked for me. I'd never really distilled it into a system of how I managed my energy, but I decided to start doing them and start focusing on what was really important for me again and start taking care of myself. So I devised a system called energy management, which was really the components of what I used to do before I got pregnant and now I'm back to doing and back to feeling more productive, more energetic, more vital, and more joyful. So I want to share that system with you. I did create a little handout that has the acronym, which is very appropriately energy. Now the E in energy, and I should mention that none of these things are really earth shattering or really huge breakthroughs, but I do find that success in life is about doing the small and simple things really consistently. So the E for energy is eating well and exercising. The N for energy is living in the now, being mindful of what's going on in our life right at the moment. The next E is for embracing our values and living consistent with our values. The R is for balancing the four R's in your life, which I don't necessarily think we should strive for balance per se, but spending time in these different aspects of your life is important. The G, spell it out in my head here, is for goals and planning, but mainly planning, planning to be successful. And the why is for focusing on your strengths, the things that really energize you. The last one is embracing your strengths. And I think this is a big, big part of energy management. The things that are your strengths are the things that will energize you. When you do them, you feel better doing them. Your weaknesses, drain you. 
It's interesting because you can even be very good and very effective at your weaknesses, but they drain you, they piss you off, they make you feel not very energetic. But your strengths completely and totally resonate with you. And I think it's important that you're sort of conscious of your emotions. When you go through the blizzard of activities in your day, there is certain activities that really, really sit with you, that really buoy you up, that make you feel energetic. It might be careers you should pursue, people you should get to know better, moments you need to recreate in your life.